signal yeah. of, of discourse. And so the going forward, the um, policies would be in place on the regulatory front. How might they impact crypto? Because every country is now evolving regulatory framework for crypto. Some yeah. countries are openly trying to attract crypto business. Some countries are repelling the crypto business. Mexico, to me, given the history of the banking system, would benefit hugely from having a more crypto-based uh, currency and, and a better relations with crypto as, as just a way, it, it would be, to me, a left-wing issue because yeah. here the problem is that uh, there have been, um, you know, some bad actors in the banking sector that yeah. have benefited, uh, you know, the, the richest of the rich. Uh, so your view on that? Yeah, unfortunately, as, as you say, Mexico has had one of the biggest cases of money laundering in the financial system. We have one of the largest uh, unfortunate cases, which is HSBC, for example. And right now, what happened in the other side, on the fintech side, is that they just uh, passed the fintech law in Mexico uh, at the beginning of the year. So right now, all the fintech industry is being regulated, and there are, gonna, there are now some clear rules, including us as, as cryptocurrencies exchanges, which is good because now you know how you, you can uh, interact with uh, regulated players, for example, stock brokers, banks, uh, and different regulated entities and there are there is some clarity of with whom do we have to uh, work with in order to get for example more cryptocurrencies into the exchange how are we going to interact different different uh, financial services and how, how are we going to interconnect to the to the Mexico financial system it was the like the well West I would say before last year right so you were in a bit of an an island, uh, an unregulated island, which was has a certain appeal as uh, a, a counterpoint to the banking system that was perceived as being run in, in an inefficient way or a lot of bad apples as some use that term. But what you're saying is that to grow the ecosystem at this point, to have some regulations that apply to everyone in the space, it gives you some interoperability between you as the crypto guy and everybody else out there, the banking, insurance, all the other financial products. So uh, to, that, to that extent, the regulation is a net plus. Yeah, and also it's a way that you, you've seen it all over the world in, in, in other countries. Uh, FinTech has come to uh, give more a more than dynamic uh, economy and also bringing new players that probably uh, are, for example, the unbanked or people that don't have uh, access to credit or people that do not have access to financial services. So that is also an advantage of that we have and other fintechs have, reaching out to these people and bringing them to, to this economy and financial services that they wouldn't have access normally. So we make it grow and develop. Right. So, you know... It and so this is why I really feel like cryptocurrencies are over uh, undervalued. Um, because there's so many unbanked people bringing up the graph and there's so much regulation that needs to be passed to set up a clear path to bring in not just institutional people but the unbanked people as well and that's why you know we've been pretty stable at a 300 billion dollar market cap um, i would say even if it goes lower to maybe 200 or 100 billion it's going to be very short term Long term, if you are going to invest in crypto and you're going to think about the long term picture, there's just a, so many use case opportunities and so many situations where crypto will be valid. And obviously, um, and that's why my strategy has always been just stay in the top 10 for now, because it's really going to take a little time for everything to shake out and kind of see what's going to work and what's not going to work and what's going to be uh, useful and what is, you know, unfortunately, there are a lot of crypto scams out there. Uh, a lot less once you get in the top 10, even, you know, a coin like Tron that kind of seemed fishy, you know, it's becoming more and more legit. And uh, if, if they stick to what their, you know, their rollout plan is on their white paper, I think it's, you know, not, not a bad investment and continue to watch it. But uh, let's just see how everything goes. But I, I love sharing content like this for Max Kaiser because uh, when prices go down, people panic, they want to sell. And I feel like just educating yourself and realizing that, you know, this is a long-term hold, and uh, if you look to the future a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, there's no way the crypto market cap is going to be $300 billion, you know, $500 billion. I highly doubt it, but let me know your thoughts, your opinions, and I will talk to you guys soon.